Welcome to another J Crazy News headlines and a special Saturday evening to those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers. I've talked about this in countless videos. The ineffective work that law enforcement do when it comes on to not being aggressive, not being proactive, not being determined enough to go after wanted men. It seems as if wanted men are left to roam the streets, left to do as they please, and at the end of it, the residents in the communities that these wanted men torment and torture, they are left to suffer. Now, wanted men Sanjay Morgan have been on the list for quite a while right now. Even to the point where he has been mentioned a number of times on Wanted Wednesdays on the JCF Instagram account. And the police have gotten incredible information as to where he is and the locations where he could be found and can be found. But he still hasn't been caught as yet, even though his friend was caught in Clarendon. Sanjay Morgan was responsible for the murders of three five members in Chisholm Avenue. As a matter of fact, he led the gunmen into 7 Chisholm Avenue and killed two brothers and their cousin where the family members were buried last week. And up to this date, there is no word no information as to Sanjay Morgan being captured and residents are frustrated. They are losing their trust in the police and they are one of the police are working with these criminal elements. But indeed, you know, sometimes these police officers, they work with the criminal elements and help them to leave the country. Yes, man. Not to mention politicians, and other prominent Jamaicans, as well as Jamaicans who live overseas who are relatives with these wanted men. Them help them to leave the country. Now Sanjay Morgan has left Jamaica shores and now he's currently in Panama and making aim to cross the border and head over into America. On New Year's Eve night, before New Year's Day, he was spotted close to Chisholm Avenue, a bus up pier shot. Yes, a bus up pier shot. You see how daring these wanted men are? Yet the police, you know, feel miserable to go after these criminal elements. They make all manner of excuses, they make all manner of what if and that and doubts still they get information and they don't work with this credible information it's like some of these officers they are happy when these wanted men leave jamaica Cho, our uncle sam problem now just as the partitions Cho, our uncle sam problem now what happened when these criminal elements go overseas and start to fund their criminal organizations out here in sending money and all shipping guns to strengthen their gangs. What about that? That is why Jamaica will never be better. Jamaica will never see a day in time when everything changed for the better. It will never happen because we have the same government in power and our police force need to be cleaned up. There are too many corrupt cops in the force and there are too many corrupt politicians, not to mention too many corrupt prominent Jamaicans. So Jamaica will never get better. Jamaica will never see a time or a point in time where everything is falling in its place because the same people 
that you all expect to make a change, you're the ones who are corrupt. So a corrupt person cannot have moral or standard. And the fact that wanted man Sanjay Morgan has left Jamaica shores and now in Panama waiting to cross the border tells you that once again our security forces are not proactive enough. There's not enough urgency to go aggressively after wanted men. All know Brokhan cannot be caught. Brokhan, the most wanted man out of Montego Bay St. James, is still on the run. Yet there's no word of him being caught or killed by security forces because of corruption, because of the high level of corruption in Jamaica. Now we head towards the parish of St. James where last night other man was shot and killed at the Gully bus stop in downtown Montego Bay. Now dead is 22 year old Lashawn Thompson. Now Lashawn was a worker at a car center and last night he was going home when he was shot and killed by criminal elements. Now Lashawn Thompson was killed close to the same location where Tino was shot and killed last week Friday morning. Now Tino was a worker at Margaritaville and last week Friday while at the same park waiting to go home he and his clerk was attacked by two criminal elements who demanded phones and other valuables. Now Tino refused to comply with the criminal elements forcing one of the criminal elements to actually fire several shots into the body of Tino killing him on the spot now his co-worker was speared. Now, LeSean killed exactly close to the same era where Tina was murdered last week, Friday morning. Now to the police in Montego Bay, what are you doing to ensure that those areas are secured for persons, for workers who are going to work and coming off work to go home? Because it seems as if criminals are targeting individuals at the gully bus stop. So the JCF in Montego Bay, what are you doing? Now still in the parish of St. James, Tucker to be exact. Now last night, two men were shot and killed on the Tucker main road in St. James. Now dead is 32 year old Jerome Evans aka Ricky and also Jerome Longman who is in his late 30s aka Q. Now based on information on 10.15 p.m. last night residents heard a large barrage of gunshot explosions. The police were called to the scene on arrival they saw two men suffering from gunshot wounds to their heads and also their upper body. Both men took the hospital where they were pronounced dead. Now so far there is no motive as yet as to why they were attacked. Now it's believed that their killing is of a reprisal of a gang leader who was shot and injured. Now it's believed that Jerome Evans was part of a gang that shot at the gang leader caused him to be injured from gunshot wound so therefore it was a reprisal attack on these two men this is jay crazy again until then have a blessed and safe saturday evening yeah man i'm here see a black legend i'm here represent for jay crazy youtube reviewing channel so watch like comment subscribe
subscribe and share out the thing JK for YouTube review channel In review news and entertainment Celebrity love star movements are free JK for my play when my review the thing then JK for YouTube review channel In review news and entertainment Celebrity love star movements are free JK for my play when my review the thing then Review the thing then Review the thing then JK Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them Jay Crazy